Hello, this is Dr. João Oliveira talking again about some promising perspectives on the treatment of brain calcification. So we know that is a progressive condition. Uh, we know that when most people find out the calcifications are already uh, in a volume, sometimes like a, a, the size of a ping pong ball, and you wonder what could stop or could it be removed in some way so it's, it's natural to consider the ideas of surgeries like we do when you have stones in other organs uh, like our kidneys in that case that's not possible at least uh, right now but there are uh, a few cases of successful brain surgery done to treat especially Parkinsonism on brain calcification. That's usually using what we call DBS or deep brain stimulation. So think about what we do already on the treatment of arrhythmia in people who have some heart conditions that they lose control of their heartbeat so we can use similar instruments to implant in the brain bilaterally to access the regions that produce dopamine and that controls uh, several aspects of our body including movement balance coordination so I'll leave uh, here on the details of this video, uh, some references uh, that can be read, read can be discussed uh, with doctors, with other colleagues, uh, when you consider uh, that as an option. Of course, that's not trivial, it's not something that we consider as a first approach treatment, we usually consider treating the symptoms, but it's always better to have more information so at least now we know that the calcifications on the brain they don't make uh, impossible to use the approach of DBS that was a common doubt it is still because we assume that the, the DBS will have some kind of interference from the excess of calcification but that doesn't seem to be the issue. So it's very promising to think that some cases will be treated by a neurosurgery approach. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this new piece of information. Bye-bye.